Andrew here. And last week was certainly a week of revelations for me, I'll tell you. It started, was it Wednesday? Wednesday or Thursday, I began working through uh, Mike Kim's You Are the Brand. I've been doing these videos, and I've been writing, and I've been doing some other things, but I've been doing it in a kind of a slapdash manner, uh, along with my outside efforts, like my uh, writing copy. And I wanted to take a more structured approach to it all. Uh, sort of wrap it all up in a single thing. And his branding process, I, I got the ebook and listened through that a couple times. And I got the physical book and I've been reading through that. And then I stumbled into an opportunity to take the course and work through it step by step. Well, and in work, working through it step by step, I began with the three sticky stories he talks about, one of which is the origin story. And he gave as background or as extra a video of him in a session working one-on-one -on -one, uh, with a man who his origin story was, you know, kind of, it had a certain level of tragedy to it. And he dug deeper from something he just said one off and, and Mike had him dig deeper into it. And that got me thinking. And thinking is always dangerous. Getting Andrew thinking <laughs> is, is always dangerous. Ask wifey. Anyway, I got to rewriting my own origin story. And inspired by this young man and his digging deeper, I dug deeper. And darned if I didn't have a couple of major revelations about how I came to be who I am and what ultimately brought me to that terrible pit of despair that I was in February a couple of years ago and how I got out of it. And I've mentioned on an occasion that I'm not strong enough to fight my demon alone. Uh, I've tried to for almost 40 years and he keeps kicking my ass. And February two years ago he kicked my ass so thoroughly I was ready just to give in. I was done. And the process of mapping it all out led me to realize that I was going to ruin my children. I was going to destroy my children. And I can't do that. But I was past the point of no return. I had already left this life behind. There was nothing for me here. Uh, learning that there was something for me here wasn't enough. And uh, in a previous video I mentioned, it wasn't me that got me out of that pit. It was my boys. It was the love of my children. Their love. They got me out. I didn't. I didn't have the strength to do it myself. But therein lay one of my great revelations. I thought I was fighting alone. I'm not. They don't even know it. But they're there fighting with me. Wifey knows, and she's there fighting with me. Friends who have similar or same problems are there fighting with me, as I'm there fighting with them. And that's part of the revelation that you know, all of the quests, all you know, it's 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 a given in pop culture. There's always you know the lone wolf hero, but he always ends up needing support. He, you genuinely can't do it alone. And that particular revelation, uh, I knew I couldn't, but the revelation that not only is, are, is a team out there, is a, a, do I have a legion fighting with me, or to fight with me, but they already were, and that they didn't even know it. And they don't need to know it. My boys someday will need to know about this. It's in me. Uh, it's in other members of my family. And I worry that someday this demon will be in them. And that they'll have to fight. But I'll be there with them. Just as they have been there with me. And that was a great revelation from last week's struggles. So there's my revelation to you for today, and I thank you very much for watching. That 
was my time. Now is your time. And in the meantime, take care, and you'll see me soon.